All right, in this quick video, I'm gonna talk about installing Papaja. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a R package for writing APA style manuscripts. And in order to use this package, we need to first install LaTeX. Uh, I suggest you go to the Papaja documentation uh, and check out all of the recommendations here for first installing LaTeX and then installing Papaja. And I'm just going to basically go through those recommendations here real quick. The LaTeX part can be mildly complicated. Uh, so I'm going to suggest we follow this process, which involves first installing something called TinyTech, which is an R package that is a helper package. It's supposed to take care of installing LaTeX for you. And so we'll set that up here, and then we can go ahead and install Papaja and test it out. So if this doesn't work for you, then see if you can uh, find out what the error messages are, maybe Google those error messages, see if you can find a solution. At the same time, please feel free to email me uh, and we'll try to get LaTeX set up on your computer. All right, we're back in our studio, and the first thing to do is run this line. Uh, we're basically just checking to see if TinyTech is already installed, and if it isn't, we're going to install that. So I already have it installed, uh, and you could also go here to Packages tab and look for TinyTech, and then install that and choose Install Dependencies. And it will go ahead and install that. Uh, you should be able to go down here and see that you've got that one installed. And after you've done that, you need to do one more thing, which is run this line here. This will initialize TinyTech. And what we're doing here is just going into the TinyTech library and running the install TinyTech function. So you do both of these two things. After you've done that, uh, you cross your fingers, should be ready to go. Finally, to install Papaja, uh, notice it does not exist here. And that means it's not on the CRAN repository. Instead, it is on GitHub. And we can download and install packages from GitHub and one way to do that uh, is to use the DevTools package because it has an install from GitHub function. So in order to do this, you're going to have to install the DevTools package. And again, you can run this line, and it's just checking to see if you have it installed already. You could also go here and type in DevTools and install that one. After you've done that, you want to run this line devtools, two colons, install GitHub, and then this is the link to the GitHub repository for Papaja. So follow all those steps, and then I suggest you make a new R project just like this. So let's just make a new project. I'm going to call this test Papaja because that's what we'll be doing. I forgot to initialize this as a Git repository, and I'll have you do that because uh, part of the uh, assignment will be to create a GitHub repository and upload a test Papaja R Markdown document to, to show that you can get Papaja up and running. So now that we have a new R project open, if everything has gone well, you should be able to go to the our markdown option there and choose from template and scroll down and find the APA article option. And this is a template that's been installed from the Papaja package. So I press OK. And we'll talk about this whole thing in more detail in the lecture. But what we have here is a template that you can knit and let's try it out. I'll save that with the word test. And 
what's happening is this is being compiled through LaTeX to produce a PDF that should look something like this. And if you scroll down and look at this, it's just um, kind of the bare bones of an APA manuscript with some ref referencing and things like that. So this could be a way to test to determine whether you've set everything up so that you can compile our markdown documents to PDF as well as uh, specifically compile them to an APA style paper. Okay, so that's a demonstration of installing Papaja. If you run into problems running, uh, trying to get this installed on your computer for Psych 7709, just send me an email and uh, we'll figure out how to solve the problem.